Imagine you are an eight years old girl. You are running and having fun with your classmates during recess. When suddenly, you fall to the ground and scratch your knee. Like any other kid, you look for comfort and search for your teacher's help. When you finally found her and show her your knee, the most unexpected thing happens. She screams, and I quote, Oh my goodness, you have so much hair, just like a monkey. Well, believe it or not, this experience brought to me the worst insecurity I have till now. For a whole year, I was not able to wear skirts nor shorts, not even during summer. And now that, it's a great example of how a small and dumb action can have big repercussions in someone else's life. Good afternoon, everybody. It's my pleasure to meet you all. Today, I'm talking to you about milestones. However, some of you may wonder, what is a milestone? According to Cambridge Dictionary, a milestone is an action or event marking a significant change or stage in our development. It can be as simple as gifting a smile to someone on the streets or being yelled at for a bad grade. And the most magical thing about milestone is that they offer a hundred of different paths, but you choose the one you take. Milestones are in charge of placing adversity in our lives, but we decide how to deal with them. We decide what curse to take. According to the NIH, National Institute of Health, milestones start from the day we are born. And they go from things like being able to roll over as a baby, play, or walk, to discovering your sexuality or growing armpit hair. Here's an example. Let me ask you, have you ever been in love? Well, that's quite a big milestone. Your first love will create a big part of the vision you have about the love concept. It will have great repercussions on the way you romantically develop yourself. But what is my point here? Milestones are essential for the growth and development of your personality, allowing each and every single one of us to grow in a unique way. However, as much as they can have a positive impact, they can also have a negative one. Follow my lead. When I was about seven years old, I remember going to the supermarket with my dad, sister, and cousin. We were all having fun, you know, running through the hallways or riding the supermarket cart. When finally, we reached the seafood area. I can still remember the strong and disgusting smell itching on my nose. The big fishes displayed on the counters with their wide open eyes staring right through me. And I swear, I can clearly remember how my sister stuck her finger inside the dead fish's eye and chased me through the whole supermar supermarket with it. Jokes aside, till this day, I have not been able to eat any kind of seafood. As you can see, my sister's action at those moments had repercussions on my eating habits in the future. Milestones exist for every age and every topic you can imagine. Most of the time, we don't even notice them, but they're always there. And it's always up to you to decide how you deal with them, as well as it is up to you to decide the impact you have on someone else. Have you ever heard about Amelia Earhart? Well, in case you haven't, let me tell you a little bit about her. According to the Women History Museum, Amelia Earhart was a female record-breaking aviator whose international fame improved public acceptance of aviation and opened doors for thousands of women in the commercial flight industry. On her 25th birthday, Amelia purchases her first plane, a Keener Aster biplane, which she flew in 1922 
setting the female altitude record of 14,000 feet. Earthheart was also the first woman to fly across the Atlantic by plane on June 17, 1925. She was a sensation and a symbol of what women could achieve. She inspired and changed so many lives doing what she loved and not letting anything stop her. Now, allow me to tell you about my biggest milestone. While writing this whole talk, I reflected about my life and the moments that led me here. The biggest one being from my mom, taking me to the charity events her work organized. Things like visits to the orphanage or participating on the races for the benefits of kids with cancer. Those moments made me realize how easy it is to change someone's life with nothing but your presence and a smile. Whenever the kids' faces lighted up, I felt so much satisfaction because I knew that thanks to my actions, those kids were happy. And at the same time, those kids impacted on my vision of the world, making me believe on a better future. I like to think that my wish to be a teacher is owned to those moments. I want to be able to help kids feel safe and loved as much as I want them to grow and be incredible people. Wishing that I can impact their lives as a teacher, instructing future generations and creating a better world. Throughout my life, I've learned that the impact we generate on someone else might be essential for their growth and development as individuals. We forget about the importance of milestones. Sometimes we even forget they exist. We are so immersed in finishing the day that we leave aside all the small details that could make it better, like the laugh from your classmates or the races to the cafeteria. We forget to take in those small moments, but most importantly, we forget to give them back. As I said, we are all experiences in someone else's life. Let's be a good one. Thank you for your attention. I hope to have a great impact on your life.